Yes, I hear you fine. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and get going with uh, defensive backs coach and defensive pass game coordinator, Javaris Tillman. And uh, we'll begin with a question from Zach Klein. Go ahead, Zach. Hey, Travaris, it's Zach from Channel 2 here. Good seeing you. Uh, we had some fun with Chris, who said he lit you up like a Christmas tree <laughs> with the Panthers. You never had a single pick. Uh, no, but he was having fun. Just a relationship with him, what those battles were like in practice at Carolina, and how you see that that battle continuing here on the flats. Um, it, it, was, it was always, it was a daily battle with him. You know, Chris is a competitor, so, and we both are. So uh, it, it, it was, it was like I say, it, it was a battle each and every practice. And um, I think I probably got at least at least three times. So I, I, I'm pretty sure he said zero, but I'm, I'm sure I got him at least three. And you see that competitive spirit between you two continuing in practice here for Tech? I, I sure do, man. I mean, that's, 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 that makes practice fun, you know, when, when you have the coaches going at it as well as the players. So um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking to get started this spring. Go to a question now from Rod McKenzie. Go ahead, Rod. Hey, Coach. Welcome back. Uh, you, you lose three starters in the secondary and another guy that, you know, put in a lot of time as a primary backup. Uh, and the guys you have returning have maybe shifted back and forth between positions, safety and corner. Is your job in the spring, is that going to be to evaluate where you feel they're the best fit in the secondary? Yeah, exactly it. Um, it's going to be, you know, kind of see who, 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 who moves well, I mean, who, who tracks the ball, um, stuff like that. Um, the good thing now is that I have the whole room, so they're able to, you know, hear and um, kind of communicate with, with each other before they even get on the field, you know, to get on the same page. So that, that's going to be a plus for them and, um, and a plus for me as well, you know, so that, I'm, that everybody's getting that same communication and, and, you know, everybody's hearing like one voice. Got a question now from Kelly Quinlan. Go ahead, Kelly. Coach, I was just curious kind of what's your philosophy? What are the things that you look for trait-wise in terms of, when you make a guy a corner or safety or nickel, what are the, the different things that you like and if it goes into that decision? Um, it's, um, the three traits that I look for, even, even this is even in recruiting is um, change of direction. Can the kid change it? Has, has, does he have good change of direction? Does he have good um, ball skills? Can he, can he judge the deep ball? You know, and can he tackle in the open field? Cause that's, that's a big part of this game is being able to tackle in the open field. So if you have those three um, characteristics, you have a um, really good, opportunity to play. Take a question now from Ken Segura. Go ahead, Ken. Um, Chris, what, what got you into coaching originally? Um, probably to be honest with you, um, I didn't have, I didn't have a whole lot of coaches that looked like me <laughs> to tell you the truth, you know, that, that, that have gone through the same experiences that I have, you know, and, and that a, a lot of the makeup of this team and most teams, you know, or, or, or guys that, that kind of look, that look like me. And so it was important for me to come back and, and share my experiences and things that I've been through and hopefully I can guide them, you know, into a, um, a profession, um, continuing playing football or just, you know, getting out to the real world. So just, just pretty much being a mentor to guys that look like me. Another question from Rod. Coach, you were, you were able to get a couple of uh, players out of the portal that were highly ranked coming out of high school, coming in from, from good programs. Uh, what will be the process with them in trying to get them to the next step of contributing at this level? Um, no different from any, any other guys. I mean, I'm, I'm coming in here. Nobody, none of those guys really know me. I mean, they know of me, but they don't really know me. So it's, everybody's coming in with a clean slate. I mean, getting those guys here, I mean, they know the best players are going to play. So there's nothing promised to them. So, you have to go out um, every day at practice and show that you deserve to be on the field. Another question from Kelly. Coach, you know, in terms of talking about guys playing and, and what your expectations are, um, having played at Georgia Tech and had those experiences been in the fire, what do you think that brings to the table when you when you're just trying to even evaluate the personalities, the the traits, the all those things? What does that bring and what advantage does that give you? Um, just um, playing here, I mean, like like he just said, I, I lived it, so I kind of know what's, what what it, what it takes to be so successful, you know, at Tech. So um, I'm just looking for smart guys that know what to do, and um, are, are are consistent. I'm looking for consistency in, in our guys. If you, if you can be consistent in your play and consistent in your off the field actions, because that that plays a part as well. Just being you know, just being accountable is is what I'm looking for. 
Another question from Rod. Coach, you have a, a player returning in Zamari Walton, who's uh, started a lot of games here. Um, is he a guy that can be a leader in your room? And, and what have you seen from him from looking at his film? Um, he, he can be a leader. I've, I've had conversations with him to that effect. Uh, him and a couple other guys looking for them to to lead the room because um, I do believe in a player led team, you know, so I'm, I'm looking for guys to be in guys in that room to kind of hold each other accountable because sometimes that peer pressure um, sometimes mean more than, than the coaches putting pressure on you. So I'm looking for um, a room of just leaders is what I'm looking to do. I'm hoping to grow those guys into leaders and um, to make sure that they're holding each other accountable. Another question from Ken. Um, first, the the numbers at for the you know in the passing game at Michigan State weren't great, obviously as you know. But uh, and from what I gather, you got a lot of new guys and injuries and so forth. Can you kind of put some context into what happened and maybe how you saw guys, how you were trying to you know how you were able to do what you were trying to do? Just lack of consistency. Sometimes um, we made it simple for some of those guys over there, and um, like you said, they some some guys didn't even have a spring. So they, they went straight into fall camp coming from other schools, but uh, there were, they, those guys really played hard. I mean, some of that came from scheme, um, which sometimes it schemes, the, the uh, office beats the, um, the defensive scheme. So um, it was just a combination of things. I mean, we did make plays, we won games, you know, so it was, sometimes it just happens like that to tell you the truth, man. But um, those guys played as hard as they could. I mean, they 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 were they were being coached, you know, to to do the right things, and and for the most part, they did that. So um, it it was a combination of you know just some mistakes here and then also scheme. Got a question out from Kelly. What's it been like just being back at Georgia Tech after all these years, and and has anything stood out to you the most that's changed, or maybe is the same even? Um, it, it felt like home when I when I stepped in. Nothing, nothing. I mean, obviously, some of the building the buildings has changed. You know, got some renovations here and there, and um, campus looks more up to date <laughs> than it did when I was when I was here. But um, it just feels like home. I mean, it feels like I I, I never left the place, and I'm, I'm just grateful and um, just blessed to be back. Any final questions for Coach Tillman? All right. Thank you very much, Coach. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thanks.